Welcome to part two of module one of this five module course entitled Becoming an E-Teacher. You can watch the entire course for free at the site below. Okay, to set up a web page, the first thing we need to do is uh, click on more and find sites. Now we need to re-enter a password and this is a security feature. Now we're ready to actually create a site. Just click on create. And we have the first of our choices. What we see in front of us are a selection of templates. And these are provided by Google to give your site different pre-made looks. You can choose blank or you can choose from a selection here. A second option is to pick a theme. And the theme that we're going to choose is branches. Now we're going to give our site a name and the name we're going to choose isn't the same name as Fifi's web, uh, web address which is Fifi Teaches. And there we have the name of the website. So we have a blank template. We have chosen our name. We've chosen a theme. And again for security and this is to make sure that sites, sites aren't set up by other computers and just to cut down on spamming. And that's it. That's Fifi's homepage. Now at the moment it's only one single page and what we need to do is create new pages. And we can see at the top we have a button for create, for edit, and we have a button called more actions. And inside this we have some options. We can alter each page setting separately. We can move pages around and we can manage the site. And in the second module, I'm going to talk more about uh, what's available in this menu, managing the site and sharing it. Now, when I click on Edit Page, you'll see a menu bar appears across the top. And this menu bar looks like a word processor, and basically that's what it is. You can change font, you can change color of font, you can change alignment. Now, the first thing we're going to do is change the word Home to Welcome. and really it is as easy as writing in a Word document. And this place here is where you write the main body of your text. Now I'm going to change the layout, which means I'm going to create more than one column. So click on two columns. And now I have two different boxes in which I can write text. So a quick welcome note from Fifi and you can go back and re-edit this anytime. Now in the second column I want to put an image. So I click insert, click on image and I'm going to upload an image I have from my desktop. Now, if you want to see the actual images in your files, I'll just drag this down now. Give me a moment. Okay. Click on thumbnails, and there we go. Image has been uploaded. Click on OK, and there we go. Image is a bit big at the moment, so I'm going to reduce it in size. Once you have an image, um, you can change sizes and you can change alignment, have it center, left, or right. Click wrap on. Uh, and that's it. I'm going to click save. And that is Fifi's homepage. Uh, as I said when um, earlier, you can have a web page with a single page like this, or you can choose to add more pages. And that's what we want to do next. And if you remember from the plan we had drawn of Fifi's website, there were four pages, one for each of our classes. And that's what we're going to do now. Click on create page. 
and we have four options web page announcements file and cabinet lists for our website we're only going to use web page and we want to keep it a name now Fifi has two maths classes so we're going to call it maths class one and now we're going to keep this at the top level we have two choices we can put it under websites and in a little while you'll see the difference between the two options um, but for the moment we're simply going to put this at the top level and there we go the second page has been created it's identical to the first page except it has different texts uh, once again make two columns So if you can enter class information on either side, so you can put in videos and I'll show you how to make that later. Okay, now we pause there for a moment and you can see on the left hand side that a list of pages has appeared. History class, math class 1, uh, math class 2, art class. So what I did was I simply made the extra pages exactly the same way I made the first page, each with two columns and we can simply go through these and see them and you see they're all listed together one under the other and that's because I kept them at the top level and here we have a site map and that's simply a little map of the site easier to navigate around especially if you have a big site for our sites it really uh, it isn't, isn't a problem to find a way around now we also said for each class we're going to have a dedicated resource page and that's what we're going to do now so first of all I click on the class I want to make that page for I click create page leave it on web pages and give the page a name now I'm choosing it to call it art resources and not just resources because we're going to have four pages now this time I'm going to put it under art class so it will be a sub page of the art class page and we'll see the difference between keeping a top level and you can see here that art resources actually is under art classes once again I'm making two columns and that's it this is the art resource page so top level top level top level and then secondary level art resources under art classes now I'm going to do exactly the same for all of these pages I'm going to create a resource page and we see here I'm doing the history one under history class create page and there we go now I'm going to pause in a moment and I'm going to create the pages for uh, the math classes as well save and there we go okay so each class has a resource page and if we click on the site map we see it has grown a little bit The last thing we need to do is create a page for each class where Fifi can put her class news and announcements. Let's start with the art class. We click create page. Now we're going to go with an announcement rather than a web page. Give your page a name and we're going to place it under art class and create I'll make a second one for history again announcements under history class and create Now we can see our class and history class have a class news page. I'm going to pause this video and come back when I've made a class news page for her maths class. And welcome back and you can see now that each of our class pages has a resource page and a class news page. And that's it. Fifi's website has been created and in part two we're going to have a look at how to add content videos, links, and how to put in class news. And that's the end of part two of module one, making a website. 
This is module one of a five module course entitled Becoming an E-Teacher. If you've watched this video on YouTube, you can see the entire course for free with all supporting documents at the website below.